Now, I would be doing these uh, comments in various weird voices like I've been known to do, but my voice has really, really been fucking with me over the past few days here, so I thought I would just read them off, and uh, <laughs> I'm already laughing at the first one. It's up here on the screen. Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. I mean, I'll, I'll, well, y you'll see. Okay, you'll, you'll, you'll see. Oh, hell... No, hell no, fuck you, disrespect Paul Gray, R.I.P. Actually, in that video, I wasn't disrespecting Paul Gray a bit. Not at all. I didn't say anything bad about Paul Gray. I don't know much about his base, quote-unquote, talent. I don't know much about him in general. But if anything, I was respecting him by saying it is incredibly fucked up for the band to be keeping their current basis backstage because he supposedly doesn't have the right to be there because they're still grieving his death. Paul Gray would want that motherfucker to be out there on stage with them. How the hell did I disrespect him by saying that? Dipshit. See Zito Guitarist writes, I'm a longtime Slipknot fan and I usually don't blah blah blah, don't really give a shit, blah 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 blah. Slipknot did not replace Paul Gray. Donnie is just there to play bass, and that's it. He's not a new member of the band, and he won't be writing songs, so it's their decision to do what they wanted with him, and he agreed to do it, so if he doesn't have a problem with it, then why should you? Well, CZ, though, thank you for the uh, comment here, and let's begin with, if he doesn't have a problem with it, then why should you? Somebody wants to punch you square in your face. They don't have a problem with it, so why should you have a problem with it? Just sit there and take it. No harm, no foul. <laughs> it sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? It's because it is stupid. And let's go back to the part where you said that he's just there to play bass. He's not a new member of the band. He won't be writing songs. Way to diminish the value of a bassist. Way to diminish the value of the member of a band who doesn't write music. He doesn't matter because he doesn't write songs. And on top of him not being a new member, this guy was in the band a long time ago before Corey Taylor was even in the band. And that's even worse to keep him off stage. Some of you guys are just so stupid that it's almost, it's almost maggot-like. Oh, well, <laughs> well, you do call yourselves a uh, cheap joke. Nico Gutierrez writes, how could someone listen to him? His channel name is Undertaker Freak, LOL. Well, if my channel name was Dingleberry Stew Eater 69 would that make my points any less valid? I don't think so. Darky Jester, oh, that's a face only a mother could love right there, writes, Look, dude, you might be right about the bass player, but you don't have any right to say that Joey Jordison is not a good drummer. He is one of the best and greatest drummers in world's history of metal. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Gustav Savonius writes, You're ignorant bastard. Hope you get hit by a truck. Well, I hope somebody slaps you upside the head with an apostrophe E, you big doo-doo head. Francis the 13th writes, Whatever. Number one, it was Donnie's choice not to play on stage. And also, well, I guess she dropped the numbered list thing pretty quick. If you had a band with some of the most important people in the world to you and one of those people was lost, would you really want some new guy coming up just like that? I mean, maybe they felt uncomfortable with it. Like, if a brother passed, would you be comfortable with some new guy coming in and sharing your home with you? Yeah, it's not exactly like that, but Slipknot is pretty tight. Consider their feelings. Yeah, at least you qualified your entire pile of horseshit by saying it's not exactly like that, which makes me wonder why you even threw that analogy in there in the first place. Yes, I would really want some new guy coming up just like that because I'm in a band and my band needs to tour to make money to support my livelihood. I'm not going to throw him in the back like a douchebag and act like he doesn't exist. And on top of it being Donnie's choice not to play on stage, why in interviews are people in the band saying that they don't think he has the right to be on stage with them because they're grieving? I really had high hopes for this comment because it was so well written, but... It's just another pile of stupid horse shit. S.S. <sighs> Vishnov writes, LMAO, this guy is such an idiot. Clearly he has no idea what he is talking about. 
Not only was Paul Gray an important member of Slipknot, but to the entire metal community. Which is why I only heard his name until he died, right? Which is why they named an award after him at the Golden Gods. If this guy knew anything about metal, he would have known that, and he disses Joey Jordison too. LOL, I bet this guy can't drum for shit. Well, SS Vishnov, I know plenty about metal, which is why I avoid the Golden Gods awards like the plague. And you're gonna hang your hat on the fact that they named an award after him? Hey dude, they gave best song to Black Veil Brides, and they gave the drummer of Hailstorm best drummer over the likes of Gene Hoagland and Neil Peart. Wrap your head around that one before you use it as a point of pride to your demigod. God, you guys are just so, so dumb. SamZoo93 writes, Since this is your own personal opinion, you should keep it to yourself and shut the fuck up. Thank you for the comment, SamZoo93. On the surface, it looks very well written and very sagacious. Uh, but in reality, it's a big steaming pile of shit. By your own logic, you need to shut the fuck up because you are voicing your own personal opinion. Go take a look at my channel, buddy. Shutting the fuck up is not part of my channel and it never will be. Sorry. Or in the words of Chris Jericho, sorry. Mind Harvester writes, look at how he lifes. Right off the bat, I can tell he's not harvesting many mines, at least many bright mines. XD, even my little brother owns more than dot him. Now he bashes against Slipknot cause he's an losing piece of crap XD. Let's just ignore the fact for a second that not all of my possessions are around me, cuddling me while I do videos here in this one singular spot in my basement. And let's focus on the even my little brother owns more than him part of the comment. Now how much of those possessions do you think his parents bought for him? Therefore, he doesn't own them. Dipshit. Ricardo Rodriguez writes, Stop being a crap eater and you most hate people telling you that you look like Cory from Slipknot. Ha ha ha, duosh. He later added, Living with your parents, shame on you. Actually, I would really, really hate it if people told me I look like some douche wearing a backwards hat taking a self-mirror photo. That would really, really burn me. Enzo Marine writes, Don't you dare to custgen my mentality. You don't now me. I'm a maggot and I do realize is not the best way to grieve. Why on earth would anybody question your mentality, especially after reading this comment? Really, I couldn't imagine why. At all. No. 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 <sighs> Maybe somebody can help me. Gustavo Slipknot 911 writes, You know that making video does not change the minds of maggots in parentheses for whatever fucking reason, people. Yeah, because every time I make a video sharing my opinion on something, my very first thought is, gee, I hope I change everybody's mind here. I really hope by watching this video and listening to my opinion, everybody thinks just like I do. I am really that much of a selfish prick. Get a clue, Tosser. Cowboy10482 writes, You're that douchebag. If you were in front of me, I'd pull your eyeballs out along with your brain and saute them with onions and feed them to your mama, you fucking idiot. Why all of the, the, the vivid hostility? Holy crap. I can think of a band that could use a guy like you as a fan. They're called ICP. Dojo Illidan, Dojali Dan, whatever, writes, I will stand by Slipknot and die for them because I hate myself. <laughs> okay, okay. I will stand by Slipknot and die for them because I hate myself. <laughs> Oh, and I love what Slipknot changed my life forever, saying, Fuck you, everyone. I am my own hatred of the world. What a positive message to take from a band. 
<laughs> Fuck you, everyone. I'm my own hatred of the world, and I like this band because I hate myself. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I quit. I quit. Goodbye, everybody.